Hello everyone, this is Suzanne and God Crochet and Chatter. Welcome back. Today we started our journey in going through the Bible in a year. And today the reading was from Genesis chapter 1 through 4. Now on this card I have listed each day and what chapters you need to read. So if you want to stop the video here and write it down for yourself. Those of you that don't have the book, that would be awesome. All right, I just want to go over kind of how to study and how to go about this to get the most benefit out of what we're doing. Now, I like to use the GROW system. First, you greet God. You inv invite God into your study, into your quiet time, thanking him for allowing you this time to sit and study his word. Then you read the verses silently or aloud. If you want to listen to it on audio, that's fine. And then you want to observe, underline, highlight what stood out, out in those uh, scriptures. And then prayer and application. Now, to give you an idea of what I did, I went through and listed one of my cards here. Okay. Order and Creation. Man created woman, no sin, serpent enters, foolish decision to listen to lies, hide from sin, sin finds them out, an awareness of sin, cast out of the garden, uh, children murdered, Cain uh, killed Abel, and then it was the family of Cain, and Lamech sinned worse than his father. So those were kind of my outline that I did. Now, you may want to do this. And then, for the very last thing, and this only takes a few moments. It's, it's wonderful. Put together a prayer, kind of out of the verses and what you've read in those chapters. Now, this is my prayer that I am going to, that I did say to our Heavenly Father. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Heavenly Father, as you created the beautiful garden, I need to strive to keep my garden of life clean and pleasing to you. I pray that my husband and I stay close to you. If one of us falters, that the other would help pick each other up. Help me to make good decisions so that I do not kid myself from hide myself from you. Make me, Holy Spirit, see the errors of my way. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So that was my prayer at the end of the first four chapters in Genesis. Now tomorrow, the reading assignment is Genesis chapter 5 through 8. Genesis chapters 5 through 8. I, will, I have already read that so that I can prepare my, my notes and go back over it and do, formulate my prayer. If you'd like me to share this prayer in the form of a devotion, I would be most happy to do that. I hope that you enjoy your journey on getting to know God better and becoming closer to Him. I know already I was just amazed at some more nuggets that I drew out of those first four chapters. So, yeah, I hope that you get your study time and get all your things arranged and remember, grow, greet, read, observe, and then weed out any um, sins in your life as you approach God. So, yeah, I, um, I think that's going to be a good study method for me. Whatever your study method is, you go with what fits for you, okay? This is no pressure. Don't worry about getting behind. What counts is that we all arrive to our end destination. Some of us may get there sooner. Some may get there following behind us only because things happen in life. We get busy. Emergencies pop up or whatever. So the thing of it is that we're going to root each other to the finish line. All right, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this. Now, I did order me my journal book. I thought it was going to come today, but evidently it's coming tomorrow. 
So I'll be excited to share that with you too. All right, um, I'm gonna share some um, crochet stuff now. And this yarn is by Premier called Mirror Woods. It's 170 yards. It is 100% acrylic, a medium four weight, machine wash and dry tumble. Now one thing I love about Premier Yarns is it's anti-pilling. That means when you wash it, it's gonna look just as nice from the first washing until six years ago. I mean, you know, it, it's amazing how well scarves and garments last using this wonderful yarn. It is made in Turkey, it's very soft. And this colorway is Mount Tam. Mount Tam, and look, look at it has those kind of purples and blues and lighter gray that kind of reminds you of the mountains a little bit. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna be making with this yarn. Um, this plus many other yarns are in waiting. Uh, who knows when it's gonna blossom when we pick up a skein of yarn, right? Sometimes we have to look at it and touch it and say, hmm. Now, I did start another dishcloth. Let me grab it. Okay. Oh. Okay, I got it. <laughs> oh, I started another uh, granny knit dishcloth. They go really quickly, and it's just relaxing to do them in the evening. I don't have to think about anything seriously. And as you can see, this one's going to have the lace edging on this one. And it's so simple to do. And I know my granddaughter is going to love this a lot. Okay, uh, we do have a giveaway going on. Remember, I'm giving away the crocheted horses heads. And you might want to back up the videos a couple of days ago, I think it was, that I announced the giveaway. It runs through the end of this month. It ends on February 28th at midnight. And I will be drawing a winner on March 1st. So you might want to make sure you get in on that. I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. Uh, I love each and every one of you. And I noticed I got some more new subscribers. And I'm so thankful for you. Welcome to our family. Please press that notification bell so you're notified of my upcoming videos. And I hope that you like it here at God Crochet and Chatter. We are a friendly group. All right, everyone. That's all I have for you today. I do have to get to my laundry. I'm sorry for my appearance today. I've been running around and getting things done. I'm tired, but it's a good tired. All right, everyone, this is Suzanne at God Crochet and Chatter. May the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. Keep your crochet hooks warm, your heart full of love. Lord willing, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.